What's up you guys and welcome. For today we're actually gonna head to TJ Maxx and Marshalls to check out all of the goods that they have in store. I actually didn't upload one of these videos, I wanna say for the past two-ish weeks, not because I didn't want to, but literally I found zip, zit, z wait, zip, zitch, zilch, nada. Like literally nothing. And I obviously didn't wanna just upload, you know, a video that's like three minutes long and also just kind of like hey what is this kind of thing like this video sucks right, so that's why you didn't see any videos in the past two weeks but we are back today with some newer goods the stores that i go to are a drop slower these days um but you know hopefully things will pick up all right so let's go and see what tj maxx and marshall's actually has in store for us and this time around okay so we're starting off at tj maxx i found a few of the magic Wait, Magic Radiance Fix Plus by MAC for $16.99. These are full sizes. Really nice setting spray. I also found some of the Wowder powders by Glossier, which I haven't spotted in a while. 10 bucks for these, and it was in more of like a tannish type of shade, if maybe that interested you. I heard really good things about this. I was also so surprised to see this mini Pat McGrath palette. Like, what is going on? For $12.99, originally $25. It's a really cute little one. The quality is amazing, and... I just was so shocked, honestly, no words. I also spotted a decent amount of these Burnt Pepper Blushes by MAC, a beautiful like burnt orange type of shade, full sizes for $12.99. So a few of those, just kind of rummaging through the stuff here. And then the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. I have this in shade number two. This specifically, I wanna say shade number five, but it's really pretty all over the face. It kind of just sets everything in without feeling heavy. Or you can use it as like a highlighter. It's just, it's really, really nice. If you're able to find it, I would definitely recommend. I also never spotted this many Laneige lip masks. It was really cool to see the various different scents that they had for $16.99. I know originally these are $25, so $9-ish, $8-ish off. I'm a massive Monsters, Inc. fan. This is by Makeup Revolution, which I typically won't show tons of their stuff because I feel like it's so excessive sometimes. But this was just a must. You get six palettes for $14.99. And each palette is cute because it has like a different color story. And I don't know. I just thought it was fun. Plus the characters on it. So cute. This was pretty cool. I only found one. It's a Vanity Vacuum. Vacuum. A Hello Kitty one. Okay. Really affordable. And you can kind of just like clean up dirt with this. How genius. I was also surprised to see the In A Days palettes by Colourpop. I feel like these were really popular by them. So... Finding it at Marshalls was pretty shocking. Stunning, stunning piece for sure. Perfect for spring. I also found one of the Lust for Dust palettes. This is also really just perfect everyday palette. I know the quality is really good with that one. Okay, then I found these, which is random for me. But they were just like body mists, like up front and center for 8 bucks. They were in glass bottles. And they had two different scents, berry and I think vanilla. And let me tell you, I just pulled off the cap to smell it. And it smells so good so if you're able to get it for eight dollars it seems like a winning product for sure i also only spotted one of these cuties it's a small michael kors little mini backpack how cute is it i love the color as well and one it's one twenty nine ninety nine, not the cheapest but not the most expensive i also found the belief aqua bomb toner the hydrating one for 12.99 this is a full size so that's an amazing amazing deal they had some of the bosha luminizing charcoal masks as well you guys will see here the expiration is 2026, so we got some time with that one, and it was only six bucks. At TJ Maxx, I found a few of the In A Days ColourPop palettes. Really beautiful color story. I found this at Marshalls a bit ago, but I haven't seen it at TJ yet for eight bucks. These are usually, I think, 16, so not bad of a deal. They also have a decent amount of On Cloud Blue palettes here. Really pretty packaging for eight bucks as well. And then here's what this beauty looks like. Blue taffy, I feel like, is so pretty. It's like a shifty type of shade. And I feel like this is also more of like a pastel type of palette. You'd, you'd possibly be able to create a decent amount of looks out of this one because of the true blue shade down there, but just stunning, stunning tones for sure. And then I also spotted a few of the cheek palettes here for $4.99. These are in extra glaze, so they're all pretty much in the same um, color story. And then this one happens to be broken, but the other ones aren't. You get um, two blushes, one bronzer, and one highlighter, actually. Very pretty. I feel like this would be just like the perfect everyday little one. This is I found Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs for 40. It's the one fluid ounce size. And then the intense one for 69.99, 1.6 fluid ounce size. I don't know if I've seen these, but yeah, they have them here now. 
And then in this section, they have so many of the Revlon Color Stay lip products for here $3.99 in various different colors. So I got tons of those. This is a MAC Power Kiss Liquid Lip that I haven't seen for $8.99. They actually have a bunch right there. The packaging is actually really gorgeous. I heard these were beautiful on the lips, non-drying, but long lasting so nine dollars a full size and the packaging is so cool these i found at marshall's a bit ago um i believe yeah renegade it's like a power kiss lipstick so i think it's supposed to be moisturizing ten dollars they have it only in this shade i also found some of the mac glow play lip balms which look so good full sizes in halo at me packaging is so cool and like honestly yum this looks incredible I really want to get it for the coolness, but I don't know if I really need another lip balm in my life. Regardless, I'm so excited about this find. I know we found a few of these Norvina lip balms a bit ago, but they have, they had one here now. The mango one for five bucks if you guys wanted it. It's a full size as well as this product here by Urban Decay. It's the All Nighter Vegan Formula Setting Powder. Probably nice if you have oily skin, I'm assuming, because it's supposed to help with oil. I think the packaging is incredible. It's like simple, but kind of cool at the same time. And then here's what the powder looks like it seems pretty thin i also found a few more of the ColourPop palettes so we saw this last week or the week before another one of the in a days palettes and this i don't think i've spotted at marshall's yet or tj for 10 bucks this actually is such a beautiful one if you're wanting something that's more like mauve really pretty tones some mattes metallics and those like loose glitters as well i think i used to own this i decluttered it at some point but i remember really really liking it this i know i never spotted here the glam guard by lolis eight bucks really affordable um i have this but the nozzle broke so i did like the spray but i felt like it sucked for breaking um but it's here for eight dollars if you guys are interested i found one piece and then I also found a few of the True Skin Catrice foundations for five bucks. Ironically, I was debating on decluttering this this week. I actually own it. So far, I think it's just okay. So there's my thoughts on that. I had to show you guys some awesome Easter decor. How, like, what is this? This is the cutest little cookie jar ever. Cloud theme heaven $14.99 i found a few of these i should have picked it up but i didn't i also spotted one of these uh bunny picture frames and they also had a decent amount of these tumblers i know tumblers are so popular these days so i figured i would show these for $12.99 they had a var various different styles they also had this really cute like mug with the little rabbit on the inside that was pretty neat and then these really like thin glass walled butterfly cups which i just thought was so pretty so i had to show okay then i found this palette by morphe it's the tease the season yeah okay so for 16.99 i would think originally these are like 30 here's what the color story looks like kind of like a neutral palette but leaning more towards like the burgundy side uh raw sugar has this kit out now for 3.99 i heard that these products are amazing and then i found the thayer's witch hazel what is this exactly like the blemish stick for $3.99 in the lemon scent. Okay, then this mirror. Okay, so I know I found a lot of Hello Kitty ones, but this is Barbie. Okay, like I think just it's Barbie. $40. I only found one piece. I know Barbie is so in right now. So if you guys have been wanting this, they have it now at TJ. Okay, then I also found one of these Steve Madden bags. I'm obsessed with the color orange, so this totally spoke to me. $88 originally, but they were selling it for $30 at TJ. Kind of steep still, I would say, but it's a beautiful bag, a good size, just perfect for every day. Okay, and then locked up, they had some wallets from Coach, Michael Kors, Kate Spade, Rag and Bone. So definitely check, you know, those like locked cages, <laughs> whatever they're called. <laughs> I then headed to Marshall's and I found a decent amount of Hello Kitty goods. These duffel bags were the cutest things ever. Only $40, which I think wasn't too badly priced in some nylon feel like that one is so cute. They also had this one, which I wasn't that big of a fan of. I think my niece would actually really love that for $40 as well. I just, but I still think that the options were amazing the day that I went. They also have this Hello Kitty strap. You can kind of attach your phone to it, 13 bucks for that. And then this, I actually own this purse in the orange color, but I found the black one. If you guys maybe want it, they have it there now. So shocking. Okay, then I found some of these Sand and Fog Vanilla Sandalwood Body Washes. These smell incredible for $6.99. It's such a huge size, and I feel like this is a really good brand, so I figured I would show. 
I also saw the Sand and Fog Eucalyptus Mint Hand Soap, just a like refillable one, which I've been buying these um, often these days for $6. Okay, then Murad has this kit, the Smooth and Replenish, I believe, cleansing and cream kit, facial like moisturizer kit. And then they had a Vimara Badescu Mini Mist Collection, four little ones for $12.99. Okay, and then these perfumes, body mists, are supposed to be dupes for like really high-end brands. So if you guys have a chance to look at any of these at your stores, I would definitely say, yeah, it's a must. I found the Coach Floral Blush Fragrance, this new one by Philosophy, which I don't think I've ever seen the Pop of Sun. I couldn't see the price, so yikes for that. But And then I also found the Daisy Dream one, which is on my wish list. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what the stores had. I won't say it had like an insane, insane amount, but there were still like really good stuff. You know what I mean? Like little, little bit, but good, you know? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you all in my next video. I'm looking forward to in your comments down below, of course. All right, I'll see you guys in my next one.